Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Alright y'all, let's get the video started. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute y'all. You guys look, if this is your very first time on this channel, run over there and subscribe for us. And after you subscribe, hold up, did I get, was this here in the, it wasn't in the thumbnail. It looked crazy like that. And if you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're a part of us, there's some things that we do. And we do them every day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like you share and go on for the team. Comment like you share and go on for the team. Comment like you share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, now check this out. We're going to break. We're going to get into the good dance. Here we go. Hey, man. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here. Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. Because y'all see what we got going on and we finna get to eating. You guys, Big Ben has diet, uh, sun kiss, zero sugar in him today. Mm. Um, and he is good. You guys, I've also got my lips hot sauce. And if you like your bottle, the web top squish, and blue, hit that link in right there. You can get your lips hot sauce and lips merch. Okay, y'all. Also, I got my little trappies bowl. My little vinegar hot sauce over here, and I have got some pickled jalapenos over here on this side. You guys, today for the food, baby. We have got us some pig feet, y'all. But these right here are the hind foot chunks, is what it is, okay? And this over here is some turnip and collard green, no, no, turnip and mustard green mix. And we got uh, some fat back in there, some red onion, and we have some root tobacco. Let's get to eat. Let's get to eating. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, rutabaga. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I ain't have nobody's white onion, honey. Mm, mm, mm. I got to looking for my white onion. Mm, 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 mm. Honey, I ain't no white onion. That's all right. We have some red. We have some red onion. These were some big old greens, too. Like they were huge. Mm. You want some of the grains? See the fat back under there? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's on time now, huh? Uh huh. Let's get to these pig feet over here, honey. These pig feet. The pig trotters. Um, mm, get these bones out here first. They got a little bit of them. That's a little tank change to bit of meat on. Mm, but I don't even want to leave it in there. Leave it on there. Mm, mm, mm. I be wanting to down down. Mm, and suck them, you hear me? Mm-hmm. Get out of my little pee feet off of them. All of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I bought it. I did. Mmm. 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 Oh. Mmm. 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 Mm. Y'all, we do got something to talk about today. We do. We got something to talk about. Uh oh. I'm going to throw my onions, y'all. We got something to talk about today, y'all. 
And today what we're gonna talk about. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mmm. 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 Oh baby. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Y'all the leaves on these greens were so big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. 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 Come here. Mm-hmm. Y'all, they be they come in little bit of chunks like oh well. A little bit of chunks, the hind foot pick I and hold up. Mmm. Mmm. I'll show your name. Mmm. 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 Mm-mm. Mm. 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 They're so tender. They just fall apart, honey. Mmm. Uh, uh, I think I was a lot more thirsty than anything. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 The hind foot. Mm. 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 I don't know mm. how common they are mm. to be sold this way. In other places, I don't know. But I'm used to eat them. Obviously, because of my folks' field hogs. Mm. Mm. In my youth. Mm, 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 mm. Which brings me to what we've been talking about. Speaking about my youth. Mm. Y'all, I want to let y'all know something. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Hey, y'all, it's good. It is. I keep dropping my onion here and I ain't got no white one. So I don't even know why. Mm. Mm. I can't seem to hold on to it. Mm. Mm. Y'all look here. We're gonna talk a little bit about parental responsibility. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that your environment, mm, mm, mm. everyone is a product of their environment. Everybody else, okay? Where you come from, there's gonna be some things in your life that they're gonna just be that way just because of the fact the way you come from, just like me eating pork all the time. That's gonna happen, okay? But, mm. As you are maturing as a person, mm, 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 mm. as an adolescent, coming into becoming a man or a woman, there is some things about your life that you cannot wait to get yourself together. You know what I mean? There are some things in your life that you got to get while you get it, okay? No matter who your parents feel, no matter what school you go to, no matter how old the car is, that you're being dropped off at school, or if you drive the bus, there comes a time in your life when, mm, 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 you have to stop looking at your circumstance and your roots, where you came from, 
as an excuse for your failures. You got to. Because if you don't and never take responsibility for them, how are you supposed to overcome them? Okay. How are you supposed to overcome them if you can't accept responsibility for them? Okay. Now, this here two ways, y'all. First of all, mm, us parents, we as parents, mm, we have a parental responsibility. Okay. When you have children, children, a child, offspring, the fruit of your loins, uh huh, all them things, pit a pat of the feet. When you have children, mm -hmm, when you decide to bring a child into the world, oh, it's hot. Mm. You take on and now have a parental responsibility. Okay. Y'all, look. I was raised back yonder. A little while back yonder now. I believe in teaching children, especially young men for sure. All children, really. Really all of them. Because they all got to have some way of learning how to become a respectable citizen of society. Okay? So they all, all of them, really. But especially the boys. I'm all for it because my mama done me this way. When you got 16 years old, mm, mm, mm. I started working when I was 15. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Without back then, mm. if you were 15 and your parents said that you could work, you could get, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, you could get like this little permit, this working permit, where at 15 you could work. In my day. Okay. So, when we became, when we got a job, okay, this is what my mother did. When we got a job, she <coughs> gave us a bill. You started out with the cable bill. Now, this is this been years, 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 20, 30 years ago now, y'all, what I'm talking about. Well, not 30 years, but it's been over 20 years, you know. Mm. So back then, the cable wasn't like it is now. The cable was maybe $45 a month. If you paid $60, baby, you had the deluxe package. You hear me? Mm-hmm. But anyway, she made us pay the cable bill. Left $45 a month. Wasn't a whole lot. Um, was it a sacrifice? Definitely it was. $45. You know, but she made us pay that bill. She did. She really, really did. And taught us when the next one behind you came along. Well, it wasn't the three of us, no way, but when the next one came behind you and came along and got them a job, they took the cable bill. And you got whatever was the next. There were two bills specifically that we paid. Mm, mm, mm. Because mm, me and my brother are really, really close. We're less than two years apart. So mm, when he got old enough to get the cable bill, he got the cable bill. Uh, I, oh, I had my first car by this time too, y'all. Mm, mm. Oh, so... When he took the cable bill, I had to pay for my car insurance. That's how it went. Just to teach us responsibility. How to pay our bills. You know, went through how to teach us how to manage. At the time, we used to use these checkbook registers. Y'all, y'all young folks don't know about that. But there was a time when folks wrote checks all over the place. And they still do it some places. I see old ladies sometimes in Walmart or in the grocery store writing a check. I do. Mm-hmm. But make sure that we know how to 
But you know, this room right here is hot. It's still hot. You know what I'm saying? It's still smoking. I don't know if you can see it. The light may be a little too whatever, but that joint is still smoking, honey. Mmm. Make sure we knew how to balance our checkbooks and that kind of stuff. Make sure we knew how to handle money. Mmm. In all things in life, as an adult, when, no, no, as a parent, mm, mm, when you have a child, that becomes your parental responsibility. Not only with money, but teaching your children how to be respectful, teaching them how to be productive citizens of society. Um, menaces to society. They don't just happen just because of the fact that the person get grown in just decide once they get grown in. Mm. Mm. They, they want to be a minister of society. Most of the time, mm. 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 you will find somewhere in there that they didn't get the home training that they needed to. Mm. There are some uh, exceptions now because I know some people in my day that some of the kids turned out hard behind. They did, but they were good parents. You know, they did what they could do. I'm not saying that this is a 100% thing, that it's just lack of you doing your job as a parent sometimes, or all the time, what I'm trying to say. That's not always the case. But most of the time, you can track down through there. Mm. And that child just wasn't given parental responsibility the correct way. They weren't governed over the right way. You know what I mean? Um, giving a child too much can corrupt them just as bad as not having enough or not teaching them nothing. It's, it's the same thing. It is. There's a balance there. But anyway. Mm. I said it's exciting because all parents will come up with, you know, children that are uh, less desirable in their lives. And I'm not judging that. I'm not. But all parents weren't bad parents, okay? I'm not trying to say that, okay? Because a good parent can have a child that just absolutely just don't want to do no better. Damn what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when... You ain't got your stuff together, which translates into your child not having their stuff together. You know, like when they get 18, they already done had two apartments in their name and they can't get down on their own now. You don't use their name to put your light bill in. Hey, they can, hey. you know what I'm talking about? The children got a charge account at the side store in their name because you couldn't keep your stuff together and take care of your parental responsibility. You guys, we live on after we, because the Bible says we're going to die. That's just what it is. The Bible says it's a show, as you took a breath, there's going to become a day when you ain't going to take none of them up. Okay, that's going to happen. We almost die. So, the way that you live on when you die is through your children and your children's children and your children's children's children. The Bible says that you, as a parent, you are to create a storehouse for your child. Okay. Not have your laundromat bill in their name. Hey, I cannot. Uh-uh. You ain't supposed to do that. The child's credit jacked up before they ever even get started. This is what I mean by not taking care of your parental responsibilities. Or in the fact, or in fact, when your child leaves your house, they don't know nothing about how to survive. They don't know nothing. Your circumstance, at some point, still yet, with all that I just said, that could have happened to you. Because that could have happened to any of us, okay? There's a lot of parents out there like that in the world. But what I'm saying is, mm, once you become an adult and all that good stuff like that, that was some green job. 
you can no longer use what my pet, mm, excuse me y'all, what my parents did or didn't do to me as a reasoning or an excuse as to why you ain't living out to your life's potential or what you want to be in life. You want to be something but you don't want to work for it. Partially, sometimes maybe because you don't know how. I understand that. But there comes a point in time when you can no longer use that. You stand on your own to be. You know what I mean? Mmm. 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 But we as parents, we're supposed to support our kids. You should know how to handle them. Definitely. You should know what they require to learn things, what they require to learn things and keep it learned. Oh, I say learned. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? You know their development in ways that you have to deal with your own child. You raise them from bird to get the desired resort out of them. You know what I mean? You can't always just say, that's their daddy. Uh-uh. Or they get that from their mama. All that. <clears throat> All them type of excuses. Mm-hmm. You can't always say that, y'all. Mm-mm. At some point, you got to realize that you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Let me tell y'all something. Pooh Sank is young now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you can believe everything that I think I can get in her to let her know and understand, you know, teach her responsibility even now. I'm already doing it. You gotta clean up your own room. Let me go in here and show you how to put this, make this bed up, make these four corners look cute and crisp. You know what I mean? You teach them little bit by little bit as they go. And I'm not trying to say this as if I'm an expert about raising children because it don't come in no handbook and I ain't got mine raised yet. But I'm saying I do know as a structure, just like when they're a small child, you teach them mama, daddy, until they say mama, daddy. It's the same thing with anything else. You walk them along step by step until they get it. And as a parent, you don't let up until they get it. You know what I mean? Even if you're not going to help, just don't hurt. Don't hurt. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I can't stand that kind of stuff, y'all. Light bills and things and stuff in the children's name and this and that and that and this and all that kind of stuff. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. I've never have and never will agree with that kind of stuff. Mm-mm. Well, you supposed to be teaching them about that credit. How to keep that credit together. But you don't talk to them about credit because yours burn up. Hey! But even if yours is burned up, you can talk to them and tell them how not to get theirs burned up like yours. You know what I mean? Look, y'all, I ain't talking down on nobody. I really, really ain't. Um, but y'all, at some point, we have got to realize that generation after generation after generation that ends up being the same way, in the same situation, most of the time in the same city or town where you are from, when are we going to realize that the only way we break the cycle is to start early and not let the cycle repeat itself? But you got to start early. You can't wait till they get grown and decide, oh, yeah, you're going to be an astronaut. You're 19, but going to finish high school, you can be an astronaut one day. And that is possible. It is. Mm. But what you do for the other 18 years? You know? <clears throat> I look at these kids these days, y'all, and... These kids aren't even, a lot of them, they're not even finishing high school. They just go to the law, can't make them go to the and just quit. That's just what they do. That's it. And then once they quit, then you just throw them to the wolves. Go get your job, and do what you got to do, you got to get in my house, whatever, all that. But that's your responsibility. That's your parental responsibility. It is. That's your parental responsibility. That child is. As parents, you guys, I just feel like a parent should mold their child a little bit by little bit, more and more and more. 
to do all that you can do to make sure that this child can stand on their own two feet. Because like I told you, the Bible didn't say it one day. You're going to close your eyes and they ain't going to open them up. That's going to happen. So when you don't teach them nothing, you're handicapping them. And then young men and young women, this, I mean, I done got a little older now, y'all. Young men and young women. Once you get to 16, 17 years old, you can stop that um, this way because of my parents. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. By that time, even the good laws say your own sins, you responsible for them. Yourself. Hey. Anyway, y'all. My bad. I know I didn't get out what I wanted to get out, but I hope that you get the picture. I really, really do. We have got to start taking care of our parental responsibilities for our children to break any generational curse that, that, that was before them. You know, you're supposed to want your child to do better than what you done. You know what I'm saying? And then, it, then uh, as young adults, you guys have got to stop blaming your mama and your grandma and how you was raised on how you going to turn out or how you have turned out in life. Yes, your environment does have something to do with you, all in, with all of us. But if you're 15, 16 years old, there is nothing that your mom and daddy done to you. Trust me, I know. I had a, we were my mom and daddy, but I had a lot of gruesome things done to me when I was younger. What I'm saying is that 16 and 17, 15, you know, 16, 17 years old, you almost grown. Your mind at this particular point is developed well enough for you to understand that, okay, well then, if that is what mama done and it caused me to be in this situation, I don't want to do that. You see what I'm saying? Let's all work together as a unit, y'all. I mean, this, 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 this. Anyway, y'all. I hope you get the point. I really, really do, because I'm finna go. Look, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. I hope you have enjoyed. That was just on my mind, y'all. It was just on my mind. You know how parents just don't want to take care of their parental responsibility. Even now, the little kids, four, five years old, baby, they will knock you down in the grocery store, honey. And the mama's standing up there on the aisle looking for some canned juice or something. She should have had a V8. <laughs> but she be standing right there and a children terrorizing you and knock you down in the store. And then look here, four, five years old. I'm for real. I would tell you. Who's <laughs> But anyway, y'all, you get the, you, get, you see what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying. Y'all, we got to take care of our parental responsibility. It's our job to make sure that the next generation is strong. Make sure it's stronger than yours was. How do you think that we as African Americans, how do you think that we finally got out of slavery as well as we have? You know, as well as we have, to get the respect that we have, one generation was treated horribly. You know, ate out of slot buckets and this and that and this and that. Well, the next generation, they may they they shack may have had a little stove, a little fire pit or something in it, where they could cook a little food. You know what I mean? Where they could catch a rabbit and cook it. Okay? In the next generation, maybe they shack had a fan. You know what I mean? Then the next generation, they got electricity. You know what I'm saying? Then the next generation ain't in the shack no more. Because somebody decided they were going to take care of their parental responsi uh, responsibilities. Excuse me, y'all. Their parental responsibilities was hard on their child, taught their child something, made their child be a respectful person, made them know how to be hardworking, made them go to school and get the education and go to college and stuff like that. And then the generations can get better and better and better. That's the only way, y'all, that we're not going to be in the situation. That's the only way that our children aren't going to be in the situation that we're in. You know what I mean? That's the only way to make the world better. It has to progress from generation to generation. Do your part. Hey, glory. And the next generation is coming up under you. You do your part too. And let's all do it together. How about that? Anyway, y'all, I don't know why this is on my mind, but it was. I love you guys so, so much. And I already said I'm finna go, so I need to go. So I'm my new Legion. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so, 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 so much. I truly, truly do. Because you guys did not have to be here. You could have chosen to be nowhere else in the world. But you chose to be right here with us. And we love you for it. Mm -hmm. Tall night just in Legion. Hey, round and round we go. Hey, round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys know, always remember, that there's always more than one way home.
All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all, and I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not going to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye bye. Mwah. Ooh, bye bye. Oh, that was good, y'all. Y'all, for real, for real, for real. We all are important links in society. We're all important links in the world. It used to be when I was growing up. Parents used to care about their name. They used to care about that. Boy, don't you go out there da, 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 and mess up this family name? Da, 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 and mess up this family name? This family stands for da, 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 You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Back, it was more, y'all, that was just the integrity part of life. I feel like is what we are losing. I do. The Bible forecasts that, I mean, the word, we will get weaker and wiser every day. You're going to get weaker in your body and wiser in your mind. Well, the thing about it is, is we are not using the wiseness that God promised us to make sure that the next generation gets out of the starting blocks well, y'all. I see it too many times. Can't wait till a child get 10 years old to try to teach you something. By that time, they've already become the person, uh, you know, the person that they are. They've already developed their own, um, Ideals, they've already developed their own personal self. They, you know, they're becoming a person of who they're going to be by that time. You got to start this when they really, really early and have it on your mind and know that you're going to stay with it. And like I said, and then young people that's coming along, stop using what your parents were or were not to decide what you're going to be. You can't do that. Your environment has some things to do with your makeup. They do. Everybody's going to be a product of the environment. You're going to get something from there. But if you don't like what it is that you're going through, make it better for you. So therefore, you can make it better for your children. And if you're okay where you're at and your parents are okay and you're doing okay, make that better. Improve on that for the next generation. That's all I'm saying. I ain't trying to put nobody down. I'm just saying. Take care of your parental responsibility. And if, if you have a parental person above you, don't try to make an excuse about who they are and what they are. To be an excuse for what you are going to become. Anyway, y'all, keep stay prayed up, and I'm gonna see y'all next time. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>